Hey everyone, today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting thirds. We're going to learn that thirds are very similar to algebra. We have similar rules. For example, when we're adding thirds or subtracting thirds, we have to collect like thirds. It sounds like collecting like terms. In algebra, we collect like terms. In thirds, same thing. We collect like thirds. We can only add or subtract like thirds. Let's see some examples to understand how to do it. The first example, 2 root 5 plus 3 root 5. 2 root 5 plus 3 root 5. Are they like thirds? What do we mean by like thirds? Root 5, root 5 are like thirds. Root 7, root 7 are like thirds. So that means we can add and subtract only like thirds. How do we do it? Let's see. 2 root 5 plus 3 root 5. 2 root 5 plus 3 root 5. The roots are like thirds. That means we add the whole numbers. 2 plus 3, 5 root 5. We don't add the thirds. We keep the same. So 2 root 5 plus 3 root 5 is 5 root 5. It's that simple. Look at the next one. 6 root 7. Take away 4 root 7. Are they like thirds? Yes, they are. So now we can add or subtract. In this case, we are subtracting 6 take away 4, 2 root 7. It's that simple. We are collecting like thirds. We make sure the thirds are the same. We can take away or we can add. Here we added 2 plus 3 and here 6 take away 4, 2 root 7. Let's do some more. 8 root 3 plus 4 root 5 minus 2 root 3. Where are the like thirds? The like thirds are the root 3 and the root 3 here. So we say 8 root 3, is it plus or is it minus? What do you think? You should remember from algebra, 8 root 3, take away 2 root 3. That plus belongs to who? It belongs to the 4 root 5. That minus belongs to the 2 root 3. So 8 root 3, minus 2 root 3. 8 take away 2. 6 root 3, that's completed. 8 take away 2 is 6. 6 root 3 plus 4 root 5. That's our simplest answer. 8 root 3 minus 2 root 3 is 6 root 3 plus 4 root 5. That is our final answer for that question. Next one. Again, we are asked to simplify and we are going to collect like thirds. How can we see, where can we see the like thirds? We can see root 2 and root 2 here and root 5 and root 5 there. So these are like thirds and these are also like thirds. Okay, let's do it. 5 root 2 plus 2 root 2. That minus belongs to the 3 that plus belongs to the 2, and that plus also belongs to this 2. So we have a plus 2 root 2. 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 root 2. Now we have negative 3 root 5. It's not a 3, it's a negative. Very important that we identify there is a negative there. Negative 3 root 5 plus 2 root 5. So negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 root 5. That's our answer. Negative 3 root 5 plus 2 root 5. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 root 5. That is our final answer. We can't simplify any further. 7 root 2 minus 1 root 5. That is our answer for these ones. Let's do some more examples to get better and better. We said we can only add or subtract like thirds. So what if we have these kind of questions here. What do we do? We notice they are not like thirds. So how can we add them? We always ask, can we simplify the third even further? If we can, then we look for like thirds and then we can add or subtract. Remember the rules, we have to simplify. One of the most important concepts in thirds is knowing how to simplify thirds. Before, 
we add or subtract, we simplify to find like thirds, then we can add them or subtract them. Let's see how. Root 6 plus root 24, they are not like thirds. We can't add them when they're like that. So we have to try and simplify. Can we simplify root 6? Well, no we can't because we know to simplify a third, we look for two factors, two numbers that multiply to get the third, one of them must square root. In this case here, we don't have that. So it's simple as root 6, it stays like that. Plus, can we simplify root 24? The answer is yes. We have two numbers, two factors that multiply to get 24. One of them must be able to square root. So what factors are we going to use? We're going to use 4 times 6. Why 4 times 6? Why not 2 times 12? Or why not 3 times 8? We're using 4 times 6 because we said one of the factors has to be able to square root. Can one of these square root? Yes, the 4 can square root. What does it become? When you square root 4, what does it become? It becomes 2. So root 6 is there, plus the 4 becomes a 2, it comes out 2 root 6. The 4 square root, it comes out 2 root 6. 2 root 6 is exactly the same value as root 24, it's just a simplified way of writing it. Now, what do we notice? Like thirds. Now we can add them up. We have an invisible one there. 1 plus 2, 3 root 6. That's our final answer. So root 6 plus root 24 is exactly the same as 3 root 6. We simplify. We notice here we can't simplify, so we keep it the same. Root 24, we simplify and we follow the process. We collect like thirds. We add 1 and 2, 3 root 6. Let's do the same process, follow the same rules for the next one. 3 root 8 plus root 32. Again, we notice the thirds are different. We can't simply add them. We ask, can we simplify? And in this case, yes, we can. We look for two numbers that can simplify, they can multiply to get 8. One of them, square root. What do you think? It's only 4 and 2. 4 times 2 make 8 and 4 square roots. Let's simplify that first. 4 becomes a 2. It square roots, it comes out. It becomes a 2. The 2 comes out and times is with, with, with what's outside. It times is, it multiplies with 3. So the 4 comes out, becomes a 2. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. And the 2 stays inside. So the 4 comes out and becomes a 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 root 2. We have now simplified 3 root 8 to 6 root 2. Now let's try and simplify the next third. We want to simplify root 32. Two factors, two numbers that multiply to get 32. One of them must square root. 16 times 2. 16 times 2. When you square root 16, you're going to get 4. 4 comes out and the 2 stays inside. 4 root 2, we know it's addition. So now we have simplified the first third. We have simplified the second one. Do we have like thirds? Yes, we do. 6 root 2 plus 4 root 2. Now it's just simple as adding 10 root 2. So it's very important, very easy to see that once we actually simplify, we find the like thirds and we add them up. But remember, always the most important concept in thirds is to know how to simplify. Now you may think, how do we know the numbers so quickly? We need to go back to our times tables. Your times tables are crucial in these ones. Let's do some more examples and you'll see it is easy if you know your times tables. The next two examples. Remember, know your times tables. Let's see. 4 root 3 plus 2 root 50 minus root 12. Again, we are collecting like thirds. We are adding or subtracting like thirds only. Do we have like thirds? Not at this stage. So now we've got to simplify. 4 root 3, can we simplify it any further? Well, no, we can't. 4 root 3 plus 2 root 50. Let's see if we can simplify that. 
plus 2. Now root 50, we are looking for two numbers that multiply, two factors that multiply together, and they have to, one of them has to square root. What two numbers, what two factors multiply together to make 50, but square root? We know it's not going to be 5 and 10, and we know it can be 25 and 2, 25 square roots. 25 times 2, we know, make 50, that one will square root. Let's finish this off. And we know root 12, what two numbers multiply to make 12, one of them square root. It's going to be 4 times 3. 4 times 3, we know we'll simplify. Now let's continue. 4 root 3 plus the 25 square root and it comes out. So it becomes a 5. Square root 25 is 5. 5 times the 2. So 5 times the 2 is 10. Root 2, the 2 stays in, minus the 4 comes out and becomes a 2. When you square root 4, 2 outside, root 3. Now we've simplified it all the way. What do we do? 4 root 3 plus 10 root 2 minus 2 root 3. Can we find like thirds? Yes, we can. There they are. Root 3 and root 3. We know this is a minus. The plus belongs to the 10 and the minus belongs to the 2. So 4 root 3 minus 2 root 3 is 2 root 3. 4 take away 2 is 2, 2 root 3. Now is there any more? Yes, plus 10 root 2. That is our final answer. 2 root 3 plus 10 root 2. That's our final answer. We can't simplify any further. Once again, we look carefully, we zoom in to all our thirds and find where we can actually simplify before we start adding and subtracting. Let's do the next one. 3 root 18 plus 3 root 72 plus 2 root 75. Okay, some large numbers, but once again, we follow our rules. We look for two numbers that multiply to get the third, and one of them must square root. Now, I'll give you a hint. If you get stuck, always think of the square numbers. We know the square root of 4 is 2, then the square root of 9 is 3, the square root of 16 is 4, the square root of 25 is 5, the square root of 36 is 6, the square root of 49 is 7. So think of the square numbers, it's easier and will help you out. Let's go through one by one. 3 root 18. Okay, we want to look for two numbers that multiply to get 18, one of them square root. We know it's going to be 9 times 2 make 18, and we know 9 square roots. Let's go to the next one. 3 root 72. What two numbers multiply to get 72, one of them square root? We know it can be 36 times 2. 36 square root, so we know 36 times 2, 36 square roots and becomes a 6. So that's perfect for us here. And plus 2 root 75. Two numbers that multiply to get 75, one of them square root. It's going to be 25 times 3. 2 and 25 times 3. So now we can simplify. 3, now we know here, the 9 comes out and becomes a 3. So 9, you square root it, becomes 3. 3 times the 3 already outside. 9 root 2 plus, now the 36 square root and becomes a 6. 6 times 3, 18 root 2 plus, now here, 25 times 3. The 25 comes out. Square root of 25 is 5. 5 times the 2 is 10 root 3. So here we have our simplified third. We now need to add or subtract. We are collecting like thirds. 9 root 2 plus 18 root 2. This is our like third plus 10 root 3. This is not a like third to these ones. So we can only add the 9 and 18. 27 root 2 plus 10 root 3. So our answer is 27 root 2 plus 10 root 3. Very important. 